In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at multi-cam editing. This is what happens when you have two or more cameras film the very same event at the same time. So what I have here are two clips of a approximately a one minute interview, minute and a half. And what we're going to do is multi-cam edit them. So instead of dragging any of these in the timeline, I click on the puzzle piece at the top for plugins. Now I'm going to go to my multi-cam designer screen and that will pop up. It wants to open something. I'm going to close that. So what I want to do is import video. I have two videos that I have already. So I'll click import video and I'll do from a media room. If I didn't have it in my media room, I could import it directly from my hard drive. So I'll import that. We'll take summer camera one and click OK. Then I'm going to head going to go ahead and highlight number two or what I like to use is use the keys at the top, the numeric keys one and two. They're a lot more efficient than the mouse. So I'll highlight number two and I'll do import video and I'll do from media room. I'll do summer camera two and click OK. And now I have both of these together on my tracks. If I want to play them. Well, welcome to Harvest, everyone. Hey, uh, I'm Pastor Steve. And, I and all of a sudden we have an audio source, which one or two, and they're not automatically synced. So what can I do? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to decide which camera's audio do I want to use, one or two. I just heard one. Let's listen to camera two, and I'll hit the play. Hey, uh, I'm Pastor Steve, and I would love to introduce uh, our summer. Okay, either one sounds pretty good, but uh, I know I have a better microphone on camera one, so I'm going to use my camera one microphone. And now the easy way to get these lined up without a lot of difficulty is to synchronize them using this button here. And there are several options. I can do them manually. I can pick time codes, but I know my cameras aren't synced on time code. File created time, markers on clips. The easiest way to do that is simply audio analysis, which is the default. I'll just click on apply and it will begin to analyze these two clips and now it aligned them so that they are both aligned with the audio tracks of each so now if I play our series it's gonna be called connecting with God it's an opportunity uh, for so you see them working together so that's a really great way to go ahead and line up the audio now how do I begin to make my combined um, presentation I'm going to take my scrubber and move it to the the first area where they're together because I don't want a black screen. Then I'll move over a frame until I get them together. And we're going to start out, I'll hit the one on the keyboard with camera one. And I'm going to be used, I could use the mouse, but I found that less effective than the keyboard. I'm going to switch, I'm going to push the, the key for two when I want to switch to my second camera and the key on the keyboard of one when I want to go back to the first. Uh, all I have to do is hit the record button and it will start the process. So we're on camera one. I've got my fingers on one and two. So let's do some recording here with multicam. I'll click on the red button. Well, welcome to Harvest, everyone. Hey, uh, I'm Pastor Steve, and I would love to introduce uh, our summer series. It's going to be called there. Connecting with God. It's an opportunity uh, for you and your family uh, to come and Get join us again. as we discover what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to have one again. service that meets at 10 o'clock uh, to 1115. And just prior to that, we're going to have one um, adult Bible fellowship class or a Sunday school class for the entire family. So bring your kids. And we're going to be again. studying different topics throughout this 12-week uh, series. And we'll stop there. That just gives me an example. Now, if you want to undo what you've done, you don't have to start over. We have an undo button. And I can undo it one section at a time. So let's say these are the ones that we want. 
and we've got a little over a 30 second clip. When I'm completely finished with that, I click OK. And now it creates on my timeline, and I'll make it as wide as the screen is, it gives me my final product. And here I can do with this what I've done with others. I can put titles in. I can put uh, special effects. Um, anything you can do with a, a normal a video and a track is all here. And so if I go to play this, uh, again, you'll see, I'm going to mute the clip here for now. Let's see, right click, mute clip. Okay. And we'll go ahead and you'll watch it. There he's talking. And then we switch to the other camera angle. And goes for a ways. And then we switch back to the first camera angle. And then over to the second camera angle. Now the easiest way to do this is when you have obviously for your talent two or more people where you can do a wide shot, a close up shot uh, so that the person who's talking uh, gets the, the camera attention and the person who's listening like on TV or in ads you see the back of their head mostly. But uh, this is a very easy way uh, to do multi-camera editing, at least the initial stuff in CyberLink PowerDirector.